Dogs that eat poop. Here's why this happens and more importantly, what you can do about it. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then we click the link directly in the box below. I can send you a copy of my free book. Poop eating, coprophagia. It is a really common thing amongst our dogs. In veterinary practice, I had many clients say like, Doc, can you just do whatever you can to stop my dog from eating this? Poop. But why? Why do you do this, Tula? Dr. Benjamin Hard, a researcher at UC Davis, published a study on coprophagia in dogs. 20% of dogs at some point they have like serious coprophagia. He claims that ancestral canids, you know, they actually did this as a way to decrease the likelihood of parasite transmission, you know, in the areas where they would be denning down. In other words, it's in your own dog's DNA. Ugh. Here's some interesting poop-eating facts. Coprophagia is more common in multi-dog households. Females, aka little Tula, they're way more common to be poop eaters than male dogs. 92% of dogs that eat poop, they want fresh stuff, you know, just a day or so old. And 85% of the dogs that were poop eaters, they prefer to eat other dogs' poop, not their own. And lastly, quote unquote, dogs that are called greedy eaters, those that tend to steal food off the tables, are way more likely to be poop eaters. That being the case, say you've got a dog, like little Tula, been eating her own poop, somebody else's poop, like what can you do to stop it? Number one, there may be a vitamin deficiency, specifically a B vitamin called thiamine. Studies have shown that fecal microbes that actually manufacture thiamine, this B vitamin. So say your dog, she's deficient in, in this B vitamin, he or she could get it from eating this, poop. One easy solution, supplement with a good quality vitamin mineral mix, such as this, my supplement, Ultima Canine. Number two, digestive enzymes. Why a digestive enzyme, you may be wondering. Well, just think, I mean, your dog, he was originally designed to eat animal protein, but most of our dog diets are really high in stuff like these potatoes, they're high in carbs. So they can't digest those carbohydrates as well. In some cases, that can lead to this, poop eating. This one here is called Digest Basic. It's a digestive enzyme for people. Specifically, you're looking at ones that have amylase, lipase, to help break down those carbohydrates. A typical dog dose of this, this Digest Basic, would be about a quarter of a capsule per 20 pounds of body weight daily. And number three, you gotta make the poop taste bad, but you don't need to go to your veterinarian, spend a pile of money on this product called Forbid. You can buy a super inexpensive, exact same thing, over the counter remedy for like a fraction of the cost. Turns out that the veterinary product Forbid, you know the main active ingredient in it? It's actually MSG. Don't advocate feeding MSG to your dog, and in fact, I don't think it's a really good product or chemical. But for this purpose, like you've got a dog that is eating his or her own poop, you're like, what can I do to stop it? Okay, this could be it. So I went to my local grocery store, I spent all of about $5 on this Accent product, and what's in it? MSG. So then you would just lightly sprinkle a little bit of this Accent MSG flavor enhancing product onto your dog kibble, for instance. Here it is lightly sprinkled, maybe like an eighth of a teaspoon onto little Tula's kibble. She eats it, her stool changes flavor, it no longer has that same taste, Ugh, tastes all tinny. She stops eating it, that's it. Most dogs respond quite quickly, and often I found in vet practice, we'd send them home with Forbid, you know, three or four days, and like, that's it, they've stopped the poop eating. So I'd expect you're gonna have see much of the same using this product too. You know, a few days, maybe maximum a week, all you need to do. You've got a dog that eats his or her own poop, don't despair. Try, you know, remedy A, B, or C. I'm thinking one of these is gonna help. If they do, let me know. Thanks for watching, it's Dr. Jones.